In the last video we have talked about some organizational environment. There is some specific environment which affects directly the organization and then there is some general environment. And we still uh, have taken the organization as something rig rigid and we didn't really care what's inside. And in this video I would like to introduce you the idea of organizational domain. And first I will bring a little bit of theory so that the organizational domain is understood as the range, as the range of two things. Uh, it can be either the range of goods and services it it's, uh, provides or produces. So goods and uh, services produced, services produced, or it can be understood as a, as a range of customers it serves. So customers it serves this is, I think this definition, uh, it's quite a simple one, but uh, I think it's very important to understand it more in deep, so that the uh, organization is not rigid and the environments around are neither so. And how it can actually change, so let's say that the organization will enlarge itself and it will enlarge its range of goods that it produces. So what would happen with our picture then? It would enlarge the organization uh, maybe just in this way so maybe here is uh, some department of technology so it would, it would enlarge it and then what would happen uh, let's say that uh, the forces from outside that were the technological ones there would be more of them so not just uh, one arrow but there would be much m more influential for it and let's say how a company can uh, enlarge its domain the most. Well, it can move to new country. So let's imagine it has got, this is the specific environment within especially one country. So now the company decides that it will move international and it moves to totally new position. So right over here. And then can happen, uh, uh, so organization abroad, abroad. And then can can be made a new specific environment with with uh, totally new forces or even a new general environment, which uh, can be new countries regulations or um, a new totally new customers due to another continent. So uh, with this video, I would like to also introduce you the idea about why the organization would like to enlarge its domain and. Uh, undertake uh, much more risks which basically are stemming out of uh, the forces that are within both of these environments is that of course every company would like to uh, produce more goods or serve more customers and and this is the basic idea and when you look at this picture which we basically described in the previous video it is important to understand that it is very flexible and you can you can draw around many different things and in the next video we'll talk about some uh, theories which uh, serves or which can co organization use to enlarge its domain so hopefully see you there